name is James Mill and I'm the lead developer on FLIP, our new film light image processor system. FLIP is a system we have designed to allow you to take complex base light, colour grading and uh, image processing uh, and, uh, and apply that live to image streams coming from a camera which you can use on set to pre-visualise what your final grade is going to look a bit much earlier on in the creative process. Uh, FLIP can sit between a camera on the monitoring output and a, and a, a display and allow you to see exactly what your looks are going to look like after, they've been, after your images have been graded. So FLIP, uh, this unit here, has essentially four main menus. We have the home menu, which we can uh, see the input video settings, the output video settings, the current selected grade and any information about that grade, and any metadata that's coming from the camera. This metadata is important because this metadata is used to match looks up against uh, the raw camera files where you then want to produce uh, dailies or editorial or use these files in your final grade and recreate the same look you were seeing on set. The second section of FLIP is our looks library. You can load looks onto uh, the FLIP using a USB stick and then you can select looks and try them uh, and just, just choose which look you want to apply to the live image and then you can say okay that's the look I want for this shot and it's applied. And now we can run images through the flip and we can see that look is being applied to the shot. If we want to go and adjust any elements to the grade, we have a third section to the flip which is called the grade menu. In here we can see each different layer of colour processing that's being applied to the live image stream and what's, what, what it does to the image. So here I can step through the different layers and see what each layer is doing. And if we decide the layer is uh, overexposing the images or making them too saturated or doing something else we don't want, we can go in and adjust the parameters for that layer. So here I'm going to go in to the second layer here and I'm going to change the exposure. I'm going to make the image a little bit less exposed, increase the contrast and then we can view what that, what that does to the whole file image. In this case we've, uh, we've, created, we've adjusted it too far so we can just go and reset each of these parameters back to what they were the back and then we can see what the whole sum of uh, all of the different layers of image processing are doing and be able to adjust each individual one. The final section is the log section. The log section is where we marry together the metadata that came from the camera such as time code, clip name, time of day, date against the grade that was selected for that shot and this tells us everything we need to know to recreate this look for the correct shot finally at the end in the editorial. If we go back to the home view, we can see some of the other tools we have to analyse the image. Here we can enable a wipe that lets us compare the raw image from the camera with the graded image coming out of the flip. We can also uh, pull up the reference image that came from the log from the look file that lets us know what that looks meant to look like. And then we can compare that with the live image stream uh, versus the, the reference image. We can say, okay, yeah, that look is doing roughly the right thing. Uh, and then we can go back to the, the raw image. Uh, we also have tools for analysing the image. So here we have a histogram, let's just see a histogram of the image data and a parade and a vector scope as well, which lets us check what we're doing with the grade is not destroying the image either by overexposing it or underexposing or clipping or doing something else uh, that we don't want with the image. Uh, and this this allows us to basically take your grades, review them live on set and complete the loop with, with our whole base like grading system. So if you want to create new looks for use on your flip, some basic looks can be created on the flip itself or you can create more complex looks uh, using either a, base, a full blown base light system, you could be doing pre-production work in the suite, take those looks from the base light suite and load them onto flip or if you want to revise things when you're on set, you can use base light on our laptops or you can use our base light editions plugins which are available for Final Cut Pro and Media Composer. Those also export looks which can be loaded into the flip uh, and uh, visualised, edited and logged so they can be recreated later on uh, for daily editorial and final break. The physical flip hardware has support for two 3G SDI inputs and two 3G SDI outputs. So the next version of the FLIP software that we're currently developing will have support for two independent camera streams. So you can either be grading two cameras at the same time with the same look or different looks. It'll also have support for stereo camera rigs, 
where we can use baseline stereo geometry matching tools and stereo color matching tools and our future disparity map analysis and depth processing tools. We're also working on new green screen keying software that is going to be part of Baselight and will also be available in Flip. This will allow you to do green screen keying and compositing within Flip, but also providing all of the same Baselight grading and keying tools to do a very high quality composite between the green screen image and a second video feed, which provides us the computer generated background or a separate video feed for the background. Uh, and this would give you something that's very, going to be very much closer to your final composite than is available on other systems and with all the powerful grading and processing options that you have you can do a much uh, more complicated and powerful uh, and accurate job of green screen keying and compositing live on set. So that's an overview of the FLIP, the Film Light Image Processor. If you want more information uh, on FLIP, please visit our website at Film Light or uh, please send us an email to the FLIP support address. Uh, thank you very much for listening and uh, goodbye.